Hey guys, Nandastorm here, helping you with your map building. I've seen a lot of questions about how do I go about building a map. Well, don't worry, Nandastorm is on the case to help you, the average Minecrafter. Uh, so step one is place a block. Step two is repeat step one. And step three is repeat steps one and two until you get something such as this. Like, hot damn. That's how simple it can be, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see where the problems are coming in here, but... Uh, Apparently there is some confusion on how to build in Minecraft. Yeah. Oh, you want something else? Okay. So this video is actually about uh, strategical things to think about while building your map. So I'm going to list them off and then explain them. So yeah, this is going to be a me talking video and not a me building video. Or me being entertaining and wacky. <gasps> Sorry, I'm not a clown. Anyways, uh, when building a map, there are some important things in my mind to consider. Step one have an idea. Uh, step two, consider the gameplay. Step three, make it look nice and aesthetically pleasing. And step four, test, change, and refine the map. So let me go into detail for a couple of these. Step one, have an idea. I've had a couple people ask me, hey, can you build a map with me? And of course, I like building maps, so I say yes. And I'm like, what do you have in mind for a map? And they're like, oh, I, I don't really have an idea. I just kind of want to build something. I don't feel like that's the best way to go about when building a map. I mean, yes, freestyling can work every once in a while, but I think you should at least have a general concept of what your map is going to look like, what kind of map it's going to be, whether that be destroy the core or capture the wool or something of that sort. Um, just, I think it's just really basic to have something that you want to go for. Uh, like for Hot Dam, I wanted to have a dam-based map. And originally, there was just going to be one dam like one island in the middle and then two teams on uh, or one team on each side and that I felt was a bit too small so I was like make the dam bigger no there's only one point or something and then someone suggested hey why don't you have two dams and I'm like well you can't really have a dam across from another dam you know that's just that's some awkward river situation going on and I would check with like some natural resource department and see if there's something that can be done about that um <laughs> and then i had the idea to well why don't you just flip it on the diagonal axis which i hate doing i would not recommend doing that but uh in the end it worked out and um I, for a map of this size without a void i think it was done uh very well uh step two consider the gameplay uh consider where people will be playing choke points where a lot of like the focus and concentration of the map will be and if you feel like one area of the map isn't going to be used as much as the other well, why don't you throw in you know some goodies or something so in the forest there are some uh, power bows and the island we've got some stuff that isn't enchanted because this is an old version of the map you know there's diamonds those enter pearls are old see this is me in my single player world so you can't see people talking on a server Anyways, but yeah, consider where people will be, where they'll be playing, and don't go cr all crazy with your ideas. Don't try to keep things as simple as possible, because I'm sure we've all seen the forum posts that are like, yeah, this is going to be like a four-way capture the wall team deathmatch with a core that if you destroy the core wall, you'll win only under these conditions. No, keep it one game type and keep it nice and simple, because let's face it, people are stupid. Anyone who's like, how do I join? slash join how do what's the object there's so many of those people the simpler the better narrow down some of those ideas uh step three make it look nice no one's going to want to play an ugly looking map uh i think that's fairly self-explanatory but don't take the aesthetics over the gameplay always try to focus on gameplay first i've learned my lesson with avalon funland i am sorry for that and step four test change and refine um Testing a map is easily the best way to, it gets feedback, it shows you just exactly what will happen and what changes need to be made. Uh, for instance, in Hot Dam, uh, diamonds are located in the middle of the map, um, but I decided to add a bunch of fences and cobwebs and stuff in the middle to, so one team can't just like rush through, get all the diamonds and kill everyone else and have just this huge advantage. The other thing I changed was where spawn was. Because I felt that uh, if spawn was placed here, like it originally was, uh, the only way to have enough time to break the core is basically spawn killing. And I didn't want that to happen, so I moved that 
over here a bit and in the XML we added um, some instant health potions as you joined so you could rush to the supply room and um, yeah accessibility is also another important thing on maps you can see there's the staircase system going on here you need ways to get from one side to the other and push people to different areas uh, like on Runes of Ruin I added some paths to help people um, figure out where the core was and stuff like that so in review um, in, uh, in this blah, 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 blah. I'm not cutting this out I'm just a derp um, um, what was I saying? Okay, step one, have an idea. Step two, consider the gameplay. Step three, make it look nice. Step four, test, change, and refine. That is my guide, to, or strategical guide, to map building. In the next video, I will actually show you how I go about making some of the things that I do in maps. So I will see you. Oh my god, a chicken! I will see you next time. I'm just gonna have some uh, alone time with um, this guy. So so hang on, just uh, see you guys later, I guess.